who's helping to keep students fed when they're not in school. That is tomorrow starting at 6 a.m. on Get Up DC. So tomorrow at 6 a.m. will look promising, but by yeah. 6 p.m., yeah. not so much. No, not so much. That's uh, that's a pretty good way of putting it. So what, what, you, there's snow coming in. It's going to be cold. Are you expecting the roads to be slick and icy or just a little messy? No, I think by tomorrow evening, and certainly by tomorrow night, they're going to be slick. They okay. really are. Temps are going to fall enough, Adam, where we're going to see temps below freezing well into the 20s, and you know what's on the road will be frozen. Now, that said, if you've been driving around the metro area, they're brining the roads again like crazy, so they're being treated. Here's the system, and it's basically a cold front that's going to go through. It's the first of our two Arctic fronts, and it has some moisture all the way back down into the south. A little area low pressure will develop on the front, and that's going to bring us some uh, snow tomorrow. Again, one to three inches, maybe more like one to two. We'll keep it one to three, two to four uh, north of I-70. And we're looking at really a little wet snow to start, but a very, very dry, powdery snow uh, to finish as we go into the after we go to the evening hours and early nighttime hours tomorrow. So yellow weather alerts for Tuesday. High winds, no. Snow high, rain high, mix high. We're going to probably see all three, certainly uh, the snow and the mix, no doubt about that. So on a scale of 1 to 10, the Bretometer, uh, 10 being, you know, 2016 blizzard run for your lives. This is just not going to be a big snow. This puts it in perspective of meteorological storm. So somewhere between a nuisance storm and a sledable storm, a two. So that's the deal with that. But because of the impacts, it's coming at the rush hour, especially the tail end of the rush hour. So power outage is low, wet roads high, slick roads extreme, almost off the map here, and then airport delays, I don't know, moderate. I would certainly check if you have people coming in or trying to leave. Now, because of that and the timing, the impact of meter, remember Carmageddon in 2011? Yeah, you were in your car all night. Well, this is going to be about a four on the impact of meter, so a little different. Again, if this were happening overnight, we wouldn't talk about it much at all. Wouldn't even probably bring the bread meter out, but because of the timing, we are. So, because of that, yellow weather alert tomorrow. Rain and a mix and snow, general one to three inches. Now, we did a Facebook Live, and I try to get this point across. If you're north and west of town, Gaithersburg, Leesburg, Hagerstown, Frederick. You're not going to have any rain tomorrow. So it's just going to be snow or a mix north and west. Nothing heavy in the morning, but don't, don't freak out. Rain and a mix goes to snow, D.C. south and east in the p.m. Our changeover time for D.C. is around 4, 430. In southern Maryland, we mentioned this earlier, maybe 6 p.m. You're not going to get it until later on. Roads will become dangerous, though, we think Tuesday evening, staying slick all the way through Tuesday night. So again, 6 a.m., there could be some flurries north and west, not a huge deal. The morning commute's fine. By 9 o'clock, again, there could be some flurries in Frederick County and also into Montgomery County. Not a problem. By lunchtime, now it just gets kind of wet around the Beltway with just rain. Temperatures low 40s, but some snow still. Frederick up toward Hagerstown. And then by 5 o'clock, here comes the changeover downtown. Still rain east of I-95. And as we get into the early nighttime hours, this is 8 o'clock. Now we have snow everywhere. Yes, even you guys have turned into St. Mary's County. Temperatures began to plummet. Already 28 in Hagerstown. But by 8 o'clock... You're done with snow in Leesburg. You're done with snow in Frederick. By the time we get to 10 o'clock, 930, most of the snow is already across I-95 and quickly exiting the bay. So yellow weather alert tomorrow for snow. Yellow weather alert for snow showers and just plain cold on Wednesday. Wind chills below zero in the afternoon and only a high of 18 on Thursday. That's not a wind chill tent. That's it. Then we get into Friday. We're still below freezing, maybe a flurry. Groundhog Day sunny. And then look at this. We're back in the low 50s Sunday and Chance for showers, low 50s next Monday. Thanks, Topper. Not that much warmer in Atlanta where they're gearing up for the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, good thing they, you know, they play inside. Right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the, the, for the week, or should I say the week leading up to the Super Bowl where the two teams are both in Atlanta finally kicked off. Some funny stuff, some good stuff. And how much will it cost to get to the Super Bowl? We'll talk about it on the other side. conquer winter then it has to be a Honda SUV more capable with an available turbocharged engine and real-time all-wheel drive 